All right, so if you're here at the New Hampshire Liberty Party State Convention, if you could please move like close to the table. Good luck here. Uh, 
Okay, so the first item of business, uh, I guess, would be any bylaws amendment proposals, uh, which I do have three of. Uh, unfortunately, I'm using the live streaming camera from my computer, which is also where I type up my proposal. Uh, so, the first proposal that I have is if you look at Article 5, Section 3, uh, where it says, Quorum, a quorum at the convention shall be the entire state committee and 10% of the membership of the NHLP. I would like to propose. <coughs> Amending that to be the, the quorum shall be three fifths of the entire state committee and 10% of the membership, and add in the sentence any member of the state committee who is unable to physically attend may teleconference into the convention. So three fifths would be 60%, which would accommodate in case the size of the committee would ever increase. You know, we would still fit under the, right now we've got two thirds of the committee, so 60% is under, uh, you know, two, two thirds is over the three fifths requirement. Uh, is there a second for that proposal? Second. Any debate? Uh, anybody want to offer, you know, to modify the proposal that I put forth? Will you uh, update the website? Yeah, any bylaws amendment changes will be added to the website with the notation that these were adopted. You know, uh, the bylaws as adopted plus as amended with the date of when they were amended. Okay. Uh, so there was a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? So it passes. Uh, the next proposal that I have and this is basically some uh, formatting error that was not noticed when the bylaws were officially adopted. Uh, article 5, section 4 uses a Roman numeral to reference Article 3, but all of the articles actually have the regular numeral. So a proposal to change that to Article 3 with the numeral 3 and then in the provisos, there's also a Roman numeral for <coughs> Article 5, so just to clarify that to be Article 5 with the actual numeral 5 instead of using Roman numerals, that way it stays consistent. Second. Uh, any comments, debate? All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then the third proposal that I have, uh, I did not correctly spell check the original bylaws, and the word responsibility was misspelled in Article 7, Section 3. So just to uh, correct that spelling error, uh, to, you know, correct, yeah, there's an extra I-L in there. So uh, proposal to correct the spelling error. Any? Comments, questions, debate? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, and does anyone else have any bylaws, amendment proposals, or any motions to have the Liberty Party officially, uh, I guess, uh, any resolutions that anyone would like to have the party adopt? Um. Yes. Yeah, and the bylaws do allow if someone is not here, they can still be nominated, seconded, and served. They would have seven days after the date of the convention to either accept or reject any election if they are nominated, seconded, and elected. Uh, I do have one proposal. There's a coalition that was started and currently the coalition involves only the founder of the coalition but hopefully more people will join the ballot access fairness coalition which 
has been already lobbying the state legislature for fair ballot access here in New Hampshire. So I would like to propose that the New Hampshire Liberty Party officially sign on as a member of the coalition. Uh, any question, comments? All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Are we going to be attempting to bring the Greens and Libertarians? Yes. Yes. And as the founder of the coalition, I will be sending out an email to all of the chairs of the various parties and work on trying to find a sponsor for the Ballot Access Fairness Act this fall? for the fall. Uh, that act was made as an amendment to HB 521, which is a bill to create a committee to look at ballot access laws and election laws in New Hampshire and try to find a way to get more people involved and more candidates on the ballot. But apparently the sponsor of that bill said, yeah, I don't think they're actually going to look at ballot access laws. So uh, I think the best chance for getting that bill introduced is going to be in the fall as a standalone bill. Uh, so unless anybody else has any resolution or question. Yes. Uh, membership. Vince, uh, were, were you a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Party? Uh, no. Okay, I thought they were going to sign up. second page is people are, that have expired. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. Was, are we going to keep a list? Of, I think we should keep that list of, of people who used to be members. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm keeping that list. Uh, it says the second sheet on the spreadsheet. We, um, you know, we have the membership expire on a yearly basis unless someone actively chooses to re-up it. That way we can keep our member roles fresh on a, on a yearly basis. So we're not adding a bunch of names and claiming we've got 700 members and you know, 650 of them haven't contacted us in three years. So, so what is the membership now? Um, total number of members, 18. 18. Mm -hmm. uh, Plus, we started in September, and we got to what? Like plus 30? Luke would be 19. Yeah, we, we got to 30, and then when we sent out the membership renewals, a lot of people just didn't renew, which a lot of people didn't even open the emails either. Because uh, I sent it out using MailChimp, so you can yeah. track how many people open, and it appeared pretty much everybody that opened the email renewed. Uh, so that's kind of interesting that people aren't checking their emails. Or maybe somehow it got filtered out as spam, I'm not really sure. Uh, so, I believe the final order of business is to elect three co-chairs for the party. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring scrap paper. Uh, so, if you just want to create your own scrap paper out of a portion of the bylaws, uh, First, let's take uh, nominations. Uh, Nominate Conan. Conan. I will Sorry. second the nomination of Conan and nominate Ian if Ian is willing to serve a second term. Okay. Should we all be writing these down? No, I'm writing these down and then whenever we have our entire list. Uh, people will make scratch paper and vote. We use approval voting, which means that you can vote for as many or as few as you like. So the people would write down the names that they agree They with. would write down the names of people that they agree with. Uh, I will nominate myself for a second term. Any other nominations? Any other interest in anyone serving? All right, hearing none, I will close nominations. And seeing as how we have three candidates and three seats, uh, should we even actually have people <laughs> vote? Uh, I don't think there's point to that. Yeah. So. Assuming each of, you, each of the people votes for themselves. Right. 
Right, so it's pretty much a given. You know, what the, happens in approval voting if someone doesn't get a vote who's running in a contest for a three C so if it's a three C contest, three people are running and only two of the three get votes, what happens then? Then the third seat goes unfilled. I see. And then we have a policy and the bylaws on how to go. Well, see, so this is going to take like two extra minutes, and we're in the front of the camera. So just, yeah. Just, just, just go ahead and do it. Just yeah. Okay. So process. everybody just like make scratch paper from the bylaws that were passed out. You don't need to give them an excuse. Uh, and then I've got an extra pen if anybody needs to use it. I have voted for all three. We just put down all nominated. Yeah, you can do that if you wish. And then send any ballots up here, and I will officially count them. Luke, are you? I'm abstaining from voting. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to give the appearance of the election being packed with outsiders, you know. <laughs> okay, the official tally, um, I guess this is part of the order. Uh, Ian Conan Daryl, all nominated. Ian Conan Daryl, Daryl Ian Conan. So everyone received four votes. So the state committee has been reelected. Uh, unless there is any other business that anyone would like to bring forth, the convention shall be closed and we'll see everyone back in one year for the 2014 convention. Oh, you know, I do have one, uh, one thing to mention before closing. Uh, we do have in here a manner for basically uh, removing or officially uh, saying that we're repudiating a candidate if someone chooses to claim that they're running as a NHLP candidate when in fact they don't agree with the platform. Uh, I wonder if we should attempt to bring some interested candidates or people that might be interested in running for office in 2014, try to reach out to them and officially nominate them in the convention next year. Talking about people that aren't current members, right? Or even people that are current members that might be interested in running for office instead of them just saying, "Yeah, I'm the Liberty Party candidate." Official having an official nomination at the convention next year is that something that uh, you know is not necessarily prohibited by the bylaws. Uh, so I, I think that officially. Nominating candidates would be a better procedure. Uh, hold on, let me skim the bylaws real quick and see if we might need to make a proposal on this. Yeah, okay, so uh, I know that bylaws amendment proposals were officially closed earlier, so if there's no objection, I would like to reopen those to make one final uh, amendment proposal. Uh, to amend Article 5 to add a Section 6. Uh, can someone send my thing back up here? To add a Section 6 and state that members of the NHLP
may nominate candidates for public office. sentence that says other candidates may be nominated by the executive or may be endorsed by the executive committee. Uh, so the officially nominated candidates would be nominated during this convention and then any other candidate wishing to run as a Liberty Party candidate could get the endorsement from the executive committee. Okay. So in effect, it would allow them to still say that they're the Liberty Party candidate. It would just not happen during the convention, uh, assuming that somebody, was, because the filing period's in June, so if somebody decides late May that they want to run for office, it, it would allow the state committee to extend the nomination to them without that taking place during the convention. But I, I do think that there's a place for having candidates nominated in the convention yeah, instead of just anybody running around saying that they're a candidate yeah, and then us trying to find out who they are. It's a good time to talk about it too, you know, who wants to run this year. Yeah, and then, well, I'm thinking next year because there's this year two congressional seats. But yeah. Uh, you know, next year's a bigger election. It's going to have a higher. This year's going to have 20% turnout. Next year's going to have 40. It's really only the presidential election years in New Hampshire that get over 60. So, you know, there, there's definitely not as many people that are running this year, and not as many people going out to vote this year. Can I share with you guys? Sure. Sure. Uh, so should we add the second sentence to say that other candidates be endorsed by the state committee? Yes, uh, so this is a proposal to add Article 5, Section 6 to state that members of the NHLP may nominate candidates for public office during the annual convention. End of sentence. Second sentence, other candidates may be endorsed by the state committee in accordance with Article 3, Section 7. And Article 3, Section 7, which is cited, states endorsement. No candidate shall be endorsed by the NHLP State Committee who is not a member of the party. Should, given that text, should we also amend Article 5, excuse me, 3, Article 3, Section 7, to say that no candidate shall be endorsed by the State Committee and, and Convention? Um, and yearly Convention? Or, well, Article 3. Or, excuse me, or, no, 
Uh, Article 3 deals specifically with the state committee. I see what you're saying. And Article 5 deals specifically with the annual okay, convention. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. So the state committee already has the power to endorse candidates. Uh, I just think a nomination is a slightly or a slightly stronger uh, backing of support of a given candidate. Uh, so, all in favor of this uh, bylaws proposal? Or did, did this ever get a second? Read one more time. To add Article Five, Section Six. Members of the NHLP may nominate candidates for public office during the annual convention. Other candidates may be endorsed by the state committee in accordance with Article 3, Section 7. I, I think we should add that all candidates nominated need to be members of the party. Okay. Maybe all nominated candidates, comma, who must be members of the party. Yeah. Uh, First cut that. Uh, I, I think a third sentence that uh, says all candidates nominated or endorsed yeah. must be a member of the party.